Hi, I just wanted to show you the drawers where I keep my inks, my fountain pen inks. Cats are on the desk, so we may have some little visitors. Um, so it's an Ikea mope, maybe? One of the Ikea little drawer units made of plywood. I haven't painted it. No, oh, the cats are knocking stuff off, off my desk. I haven't painted it because I don't know what I want to paint it like and um, I'm possibly going to be moving my inks from here so I wanted to show you it before I'm possibly moving them into a different drawer unit so it's big enough for the inks that I currently have it's th this deep and this wide and that deep um, and I think as my collection grows I will need to move in something bigger so I'm possibly going to be using this in addition to the other drawer unit but we'll see the first drawer contains a dip pen for which I have Mm, a couple of different types of nibs I think uh, then it has some syringes like so ink syringes they're blunt ended I get them from uh, the writing desk .co.uk or purepens.co.uk I think and then also um, I don't know if they're in the other drawers so I'll show you now um, these pipettes are good if that fits inside your converter or your ink cartridge to refill it. Um, I've got an ink cartridge which shouldn't be in there actually. This is basically syringes, dip pens for some reason even though I don't use them they're in there <laughs> and there's an ink flush from Goulet pens that came with an order that I made and that is significant for me because I love Goulet pens and they're based in America. Their postage obviously is high because it's international. Rosie, no, Rosie's trying to kill my ink cartridge and that was a free gift but I can't order from Goulet pens often at all. Like I've ordered once or twice in five years so um, that's nice to have something from Goulet pens. Here's some spare Lamy nibs. Here's some... Oh, that's what I ordered from Goulet Pens. <laughs> International shipping just for some O-rings for Platinum Preppy. And I didn't even continue using the Preppies. Oh, well. I've got the O-rings now if I need them for another pen. And that's something for a syringe. I don't know. I don't use it. Uh, some shims for cleaning out nibs. Uh, some nibs or dip pens, different size nibs. Ah, you can tell I don't play with the dip pens. Um, I don't get along with them. That my mum bought this from an antiques fair. It's the, all everything that's in here. Oh my god, it's hard to open with one hand. It's the same size, but they're cute, and that's what I've got on the brown dip pen there. And then in here. Are some uh, noodler nibs, uh, a lamy, couple of lamies, and a different brand. I can't see at the moment what brand it is. And a lid for a little sample bottle. I don't quite know what the rest of the sample bottle is. those things back so basically this is the drawer where in theory things are most accessible um, because my drawer unit then slides into this gap between my desk and my um, drawer tower uh, so I need to have quick access to the stuff in this drawer although mainly just for the syringes and then I pull it out when I want to access the other drawers 
and the reason why I don't leave it out is because if I open a drawer and it's quite heavy I don't want the whole thing to fall on the floor so it's, if it's wedged into the gap there it's safer. Middle drawer is these ink sample bottles are full of uh, diamine I mean shimmer tastics that I got from pure pens I've used a few of them um, but they're great for seeing if you like a color before you purchase it and then I've got a couple of Windsor and Newton dip pen nib inks they're not for fountain pens but I wouldn't normally get them because I don't normally use dip pens but it's gold and silver which obviously you can't usually get for fountain pens and this, that would be good for ink samples oh look there's the empty empty little sample bottle I can put the lid back in there and look at this the uh, gold on that and that is all red luster. So basically, the Diamond Shimmer Tastics are, uh, have a sparkle or a glitter to them. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Then in this left drawer here, uh, right drawer, sorry, are my ink cartridges. So if I can find that little ink cartridge I can put away. There it is. So I've got an old ink, uh, an old jam jar, mini jam jar, to put some ink cartridges in. I've got the Lamy cartridges that came free with the pens when I bought them, but I don't want to use these three very much because they are limited edition and that purple is gorgeous and I can't get a bottle of it. I've got the Parker Quinks that... I bought when I was using my Parker pen, but I don't really use it anymore. I've got this Amodex ink remover, which is for emergencies. And I've told my mum where she can find it because it's apparently good with blood, Sharpies, wine, oil. Ooh, I might try it. My brother's got some um, engine oil on his uh, sheepskin slippers. Ooh, that's interesting. I might try that. Um, a fat syringe, which I had before the thin syringe, and this won't actually work in um, in a converter because I don't have a needle end on it. But um, I use. I'll keep it just in case. Some Jaban ink cartridges in the tin, and some noodlers. They called ink, like instead, oh, reloadable, kind of like a converter, but they they're huge capacity, and you can take them with you. You can put a lid on the end, and then you can take them with you on the go. And if you run out of ink, you can load your pen up. It's really clever, and then um. There's a converter. I think it's a universal converter, actually. That's useful to know that that's there. And then there's a converter for a noodlers. Ahab. Okay. And then this is where the fun starts, because this is all the inks. Here are my Diamine uh, 30, 30 mils, 35 mils, 30 mils bottles of ink. Before I knew that these were out I used to use the 80 mil bottles which of course if you don't like the colour means you've kind of stuck with it until you've used it up and if you're an ink collector then you basically never use up a bottle of ink so these are great they're kind of like sample but the sample bottles are maybe like five mils whereas these are 30 mils they're really good value for money they're like two pound 35 or something so they're really great value for money they don't you know, if you don't like a colour, you don't have it for too long and um, so many colours and they're really cheap and you can buy loads of them and it won't break your budget. So there's loads of the Diamine ones in there. There's even the Little Mo, which is one of their uh, Colt Pen's own brand, not own brand, like um, partnership with Diamine One. 
um, one of their shimmery ones, uh, and Dynamine Deep Dark Purple, and I've got a couple of the other Deep Darks as well, Deep Dark Orange, there's Little Pip, which goes with Little Mo, um, yeah, there's Ajea Ban Pearl Noir, which I got before I was into fountain pens, and I rarely use it, a little bottle of black that I got with a dip pen, oh, that's Ajea Ban as well. And another one that I got with a dip pen. And that was that. One day I'll show you my ink sample cards. Rosie is currently chasing her tail. So that's what that noise over there is. Here are my bigger bottles of ink. So these are the 80ml bottles of ink that I bought from Diamine before I realised the smaller bottles were available. I've got Ancient Copper, Deep Magenta, which is ironically like my only pink even though pink is my favorite color i just i can't really find a pink that i enjoy for a fountain pen oh this is beautiful but i wouldn't call it a true pink ironically i only have one pink ink although diamond scarlet is quite pink and i love that color what's that one diamond sunset which is my bot second bottle of that because the first bottle just made the nib on my pen crud like crazy which is where the the ink seeps into the nib and dries like a congealed solid mess it was horrible uh red dragon odoneal a parker boring black i think that's black waterman uh havana brown uh waterman purple lamy blue black or is it blue and um, this has a really nice sheen to it. And this is the ink cartridge that comes inside the lamies when you buy them. So that's really nice because um, it does have a nice sheen to it if it dries on the right kind of paper. And then, so I have a lot of Diamine. They're my favourite company. They're based in the UK. They're actually from Liverpool. I used to live in Liverpool. And you can buy them really cheaply. And they've got so many colours. And for me, they tend to behave really well. And then this is the heaviest drawer and it's the bottom, so I've got to be careful. Some blotting paper or cartridge paper or something, I don't really use it. Uh, there's a couple of Twisby Eco boxes that are empty. There's the instructions for a dip pen. There's a candle, because if you use water-based ink on an envelope, I need to send it through the post and it gets wet then it will run so if you rub over it with a candle the wax should protect it from getting wet it's really bent i don't know how that happened um what didn't use be like that uh then i've got some monteverde fountain pen flush which i think i got from cult pens or somewhere I haven't used that yet but i used to have some quite difficult to remove ink like um document ink and um diamine iron gall ink i don't use them anymore they're just going to kill my pens here's a glass dip pen is that the glass one or is that the metal one i think that's the no that's the glass one i use it for ink samples and then which one should i show you an empty bottle because somebody said to keep them because they're useful there's this is not Diamine Cerise. Basically, Diamine Cerise was the first fountain pen ink I bought from Diamine. And I didn't actually like the colour. It was quite highlighter pink, which I didn't enjoy because I don't like highlighter colours for normal writing. And I managed to spill it on my bed and down my leg. <laughs> um, so I um, had a quantity of ink missing, which gave me some space to actually add some different ink to it and make up a colour that I'd actually like. So I added the Waterman purple to it and made up a sort of other pink, but I haven't used it since, really. Then I've got my noodlers. So I buy, I buy them from Pure Pens. I can't get all the colours I want because Pure Pens is only able to stock what noodlers will allow them to stock overseas. So I've got noodlers black, which actually comes out quite grey in my pen and I don't like grey ink so that's okay but it's not my favourite. Noodlers, Apache
Sochi sunset which I love it's a beautiful yellow which shades into an orange and it's so unpredictable at which color it's going to come out so it's really interesting and it's not waterproof most noodlers inks that I have which seems to be four I thought I might have had more but no um are waterproof the the black is and this one is it's um noodlers Oh, there it is. Black Swan in English Roses, uh, which seems to be based on Kew Gardens. And so that's quite like a burgundy kind of colour. And this is Black Swan in Australian Roses, which I prefer. And it's more of a pinky purple, which is my favourite colour. And then I've got my other Diamine ones, which are the Shimmertastics range. Um, I've got Magical Forest, which is a beautiful green with more of a silver shimmer hence the lid um, purple pizzazz which is a gold shimmer and enchanted ocean which is a blue with a silver shimmer and i think i would have bought a black if they'd have had it i was really lucky because i was at tavistock market tavistock is a town in devon i live in plymouth um, so it, it's the first time i'd ever been to tavistock actually it's the only time i'd ever been to tavistock and there was a man there with fountain pens and fountain pen ink and i was so excited and he said he used to work at the um, fountain pen manufacturers in plymouth um conrad stewart is that what they're called i can't remember which unfortunately closed before i um moved here or before i knew about them or something oh look there's another noodlers there it is there's the other one i thought i had it is prime of the commons which was made for the uk and i used this for my university work um back in 2015 2016 and it's great um so i managed to buy this one and this one from him in tavistock market so i can actually go somewhere local and buy some more interesting fancy pinning and i want to go back there soon but the coronavirus i don't even know if the market's open there's diamine happy holidays which is a shimmering and sh shimmering and sheening ink from the um what well, it was originally made in the advent calendar that noodlers uh, diamine did last year in 2019 at christmas and they've made them in full-size bottles now which is really fun and i had a really hard time choosing which one i wanted because they're not as cheap as the rest of the inks and so i was like oh i can only buy one but they're so beautiful and there's 25 to choose from and there's some cat fur in there because cat fur gets everywhere and then i've got oh skull and roses from diamine that's very much like some other inks like one of the um little mo little pip the other ones from um cult pens basically you get a lot of blue inks that sheen in red but i do love them so there's that one and that one i had to order from amazon because they only made it for the german market and there's there's robert um one of the little pip little mo they're normally called philip and maureen if they're in the full-size bottles this one's called little uh, Rob, robert and then the small version would be little robert it's from colt pens made by diamine um and it's a green with a purple sheen which is different and exciting so there we go and then there's a couple of bits of card from boxes so um thanks for watching i've just knocked something to the ground i'm going to get ready for work now because time has got away from me and i have to go to work thank you for watching and i hope to make videos soon about my fountain pens but i've got so many that i might need to make more than one video and um uh, also a video about my little card samples so Bye, I'll see you again soon.